Good morning, everybody. Mike Bakke, PrincetonTrader.com, here with your Thursday market webcast. Okay, 1st of July is here. Um, we've seen some really low volatility the last couple few days. It's still this steady move to the upside. Bears couldn't take advantage of the lower high um, Wednesday versus Tuesday. And they, they went ahead and they gave up right, you know, about 4.30 in the morning last night, traded it as high as 4.30575. We were talking about, you know, marching to 4,300. Uh, you know, it was, it, it really was the next thing. And if bears weren't going to do anything about it, we talked about this yesterday. If the bears weren't going to step in and do anything about it, and I really thought that had to be news related, that the natural progression is to continue to make new highs every day. And they did that yesterday with 91. They followed through this morning as high as 4305.75. So, you know, as far as the trading goes, you've really got to pick your spots. It's whippy, it's choppy, it's and it, it falls into these, you know, two to four handle dead zones just kind of while it consolidates. Um, they really whipped everybody around at the close yesterday between 93 and 85. Um, we ended up long 85 half a couple of times only to have it come in six seven handles stop us out ended up in 86 half and that one ended up you know getting us into pretty decent shape through the night but that shoot that was the best trade you know that was best trade all day so globex has tended to move better than rth that never lasts for very long but the market does get into these little you know week to 10 day habits of doing that um hourly chart and you can just see this slow bleed to the upside. Uh, they've come back to test the daily pivot. That's at 85.67 today. Hourly mid band comes in uh, right around 93.75. Five minute mid band is also 93.75. Uh, volume weighted average price is 95.40. Our proprietary moving average is 92 quarter. So uh, the key area off the open today for me is going to be 92 to 96. They printed 97 at about 8 a.m. They brought it back into 92. So we'll have to see if they can make a higher high. If they can, I think you get a pretty efficient retest of 4,300 uh, into the morning window. And then we'll see if that 4,305.75 can get challenged throughout the day. You've got the jobs report tomorrow, but I would be very surprised if beyond the jobs report tomorrow, you had a truckload of volatility. Um, it just, it has not been that kind of tape. It's been a, you know what, everybody, it's 4th of July kind of a tape. Um, I think things will pick up beginning on the 6th, uh, Tuesday the 6th when, when the market reopens uh, after the holiday. Uh, so we'll, we'll see what happens today. Certainly it perked up a little bit and we'll see if it has an agenda as we get later into the day either walking up into the jobs report, you know, late day into Globex, into tomorrow morning at 8.30. Um, but I don't suspect a ton of volatility post jobs report tomorrow. We'll have to see. Sometimes I get pleasantly surprised, but typically that's, that's where I'm at. Um, especially when these, these holidays fall over the course of, of, of the weekend. So again, 92 to 96 is a big deal off the open. We keep gravitating back to the hourly mid band, no matter how we drift, whether we drift down, whether we drift high, it just keeps gone, just keeps on coming back. The Bollinger Bands on the hourly have opened up a little bit, I mean, relative to where they were earlier in the week. But, you know, if, if the Bears can get below 92 and stay there, they got to take out the Globex low, um, which is 86 even. If they can do that, then they can come down and try to challenge yesterday's low at, uh, at 69 quarter. All right. Everybody have a fantastic day. Be safe. Be healthy. Take care. Trade them well. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Early. Jobs at 830. Follow us over on Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat at Princeton Trader. Check us out on Facebook and join us for a free trial at www.princetontrader.com. Trade